My name is Lisa Gross, and I'm the Curator of Education at Paris Gibson Square Museum of Art. Um, the challenges are funding, finding funding to, to host the programs that we would like to do here in the Education Department, and time. We're very low staffed with the programs that we already have initiated, so keeping those current programs running and initiating new programs is a huge feat in, in itself, so we're really lucky to have the people that we have here and and the team that we have on a similar goal that art is for everyone and that that makes those challenges easier to face as far as funding you know so far since i've been here we've really had uh, quite a, a large community outreach um, where people are starting to understand what we're doing here educationally and um, how we're starting to combine it with the exhibits that are coming through and how we want to share that with the entire community. We have um, a community block grant um, that we received for our VSA classes, uh, particularly for the vision impaired classes. Um, they were so excited when they heard about what we wanted to do and that we were working with the Montana School for the Deaf and Blind. And this is a, a community group that offers grants to homeowners to improve their home, um, grants to businesses to improve outreach programs, in, improve their building facilities. So we were really grateful to get the funding from them. The funding for the training that we had today was by Great Falls Lions Club and Ozog Eye Care. You know, it's just a matter of, of really touching those people that really care about the museum and care about the community more than anything. The role that um, these community partners can play in the future will be determined on the success that we have with these programs, and they just keep expanding and growing every year, and I think that encourages community partners to keep giving. And we always invite these partners to come and see what their money's going towards, what the funding is, is producing. That's my main goal, is so that they can share in that experience too, not just the students, but those that are funding the programs can come and see the joy that they're giving to other people.